Hello, welcome back. More Record Keeper. Today, we got the second Final Fantasy XIV event. The Lord of Crags. That's enough for an intro. I fucking I, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I like that the full streams get to be behind the scenes of the complete video. <laughs> Anywho, boss rush. So the boss rush is the Corel O Nine Tails and the Warden Whips. It's Totorak. It's thousand balls of Totorak. And then the final boss is Grafias and Comesmites. If you've played fourteen, you've probably run this dungeon about a thousand times. So let's get to it. Now, um, I'm slightly cheating, because my usual condition is to use a fully synergy party, right? This counts. It counts. <laughs> For those not in the know, uh, Gilgamesh shows up in 14. Anywho. Uh, the boss rush overall isn't too difficult. They deal um, entirely physical attacks. And it's really just a lot of ads coming at you once. The hardest part about this is probably going to be hitting the bosses with the slow condition. And I built a party around that. And actually, I actually have a full party here that can self buff. So it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. No real need for the Divine Guardian, but, um... I like the haste. Ida, one. Why Ida? It's easier to search. I just hit Y, and I'm there. Yeah, I was actually thinking of, and really what I should have done, is put Sloga on Ishtola, and then... Really simple. kind of curious how much damage everybody's going to do. It's all pretty good. Now, I am going to hold off on attacking much more uh, because I do want to try and get that slow condition before I beat down the boss. Ah, perfect. And really, that's the only slow condition I need. Is it the only one I need to get? I think if I get full medals, I can miss the other condition. Oh, no, wait, they have two conditions. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all I need to do. So, full charge is a, uh, an extremely good ability. And totally worth investing in. Now, I am killing the side ads, but the, uh, 
The nice thing about Final Fantasy XIV events in Record Keeper is they're actually entirely true to the games. And when fighting the Corello Nine Tails, generally the best strategy is to ignore the ads and just kill the boss. <laughs> And we'll throw one more in for good measure, but I think that is fight. Simple as that. What is this guy's name again? <laughs> Graf... Grafius. Scorpion, got it. Final Fantasy XIV has a lot of very odd names. Uh, you want a good example of that? Look at Roganines. Though I think it's the C Roganines are the ones with the really weird ones. Um... Though, I have been told by people that C. Rogadine odd names are actually, uh, they mean something. Like, one is, like, part of the name is that, is the gender, another one is, like, your family, and things like that, and, like, where you came from, and it's all, they're all, like, separate words that mean different things. Look, I'm a war boy. I like me some more. Now. This being a Final Fantasy XIV boss does, of course, have adds to it. They come pretty soon. Right about now. I want to get that slow condition, so I'll probably just keep tempo flurrying until I get it. No, we seem to have pushed him into the uh, the tail phase. That's what that does. I don't think I've ever seen it in Record Keeper. I've of course seen that in 14, but never let it get that far. I'm thinking we just kill it and forget about the slow condition. Uh, we should still get it in the end. Still get mastery. Bring Sloga. Or if you're, uh, Lucky enough to have Thancrete's armor, you can just use that. Ow. His break is really good for that. Yep, 
Yeah, as I figured. Now, Hawk Manor and Lady Amadine is actually the opposite of the last one in that she is very magic focused as opposed to being physical focused. Uh, party formation isn't going to change too much, but abilities are going to change. I think I'm just going to bring the slow condition on each Toa and then slap these Revenge on uh, Thancrete. That's just going to work way better. Yeah. I mean, it's there. And it actually helps in this one. Zod, can I drop sound for a second there? Now her main gimmick is that she gets about a lot, <laughs> a lot of reinforcements. And she, uh, her melee is nothing to bat an eye at anyway. Even though she is mostly magic. Once we get her to a certain point, she's going to start summoning things that are going to mess, mess up our day. Now, she is charging up a big hit on Gilgamesh, though, we should be fine. This is a strong boy.
Yeah, so that's her main gimmick, is that she targets somebody and then uh, begins a chant, and after a little bit of time, that chant goes off, and people take damage. Now this is actually, uh, I don't want to say like rough, because I might be giving you a bit too much credit. No, this is actually a little scary. Um, part of the fight because, obviously they're bombs. Bombs explode. And uh, these ones in particular, when they do, deal quite a bit of damage. But at the same time, you have the uh, thing up top here, uh, that can also mess you up pretty bad. Yeah, Dark Mist, there it is. Alright, we got Lucky. Uh, that can cause Interrupt. And now for the last set, you do actually want to take out the uh, the Armon, or Sentry, or whatever he's called, on the bottom first, um, as you can actually give shields to everyone else. Yeah, there it is, Stone Skin. Yep, yep, there's the interrupts. Let her slow wear off. Oh no. We should be fine though. Hmm. Also, my haste wore off. I'm just gonna move up the battle speed too. Finish this off pretty soon. Oh, right. She got stone skinned. I forgot. That's why I'm not doing any damage. There we go. Just took a little bit.
There's like... Actually a lot of HP that you have to go through in that fight. That's not like really evident on the surface at first. Next up. Titan. They didn't. When translating Titan from 14 to this, they, uh, I guess, really didn't transfer a lot of the mechanics other than he does earth attacks and his heart. But, you know, we'll see. I have a uh, very different party for this. Uh, one that is capable of self buffs and what have you. Check. Just... Yep, I thought so. Uh, you know what? Let's leave that on him just in case. I know how this goes down. to check, 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 check. Alright. Really, the uh, the scariest thing I think that's going to be with Titan is the timer on heart phase. It shouldn't be too hard to keep his damage down. Just that uh, that heart phase timer might be a little rough, but we'll see. Alright, no, full charge. Still really good. I like don't want to talk over the music. The Titan theme is really dumb, but I really like it.
So for the heart phase, we actually have to get him from 70% to 40% in five turns. Or else, uh, we eat his full enrage attack. Ah, there we go. The heart is destroyed. This is actually a really, really fun fight in uh, 14. I just wish they would've... Like, I don't know how you would translate Titan to Record Keeper. Because, yeah, it's just a lot of really weird mechanics. And, you know, aesthetically, it's all there. Alright, you got this glue. Bring down the hammer. Oh no, he didn't do it! <laughs> I'm not owned! Also, I, like, I finished that a minute before the next battle drops. Well, at the very least, we can go uh, level break those two characters that I can. Bonus battles. Wait, there's three. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. These are easier. They're 130 and 140. Banging. I could use a nice, you know, week off, especially doing a double. A double threat on this. Uh, so Ifrit Ultimate actually isn't that much different from Ifrit uh, Plus Plus that we had nine fucking months ago. But, uh, to explain, he throws out a lot of fire attacks, so fire resistant gear is actually pretty useful. Um, and they're mostly magic, though he does have some physical, so you don't want to be de debuffing both, but you definitely want a magic breakdown in his shell gun. For, for the big shit. Um, also, you have to kill the infernal nail in three turns. That's it. That's all you got. So this is the general setup. Not that much different from the last last fight. And we're going to be going in with the usual soul breaks and 
people doing their thing, yeah. I want to save Bruce for maybe a harder fight. And I'm going to need that luck. Uh, and I'm going to take this moment to uh, F5 these windows. While this music plays. Because I like this song. Well, the, uh, the defenses and everything on these guys are actually acceptable. Uh, cool. I now have information for later tonight. Except for that fucking thing right there. Holy crap. What the fuck? Holy shit. Hokey fuck. Oh wow, look at that! Fucking... I forgot stats. One of these days, I'll start remembering to do that. Oh yeah, that's the one thing. Pretty soon, I think I'm going to make uh, Ida my new monk. That that's my my new uh, my new goal is to get her leveled up because yo, she can fucking use breakdowns. That's so good. Now all I need is a samurai with support for. Also, yeah, while um, Ifritz is probably one of the more tame themes, I rather like it for that. Because, like, it doesn't have to be much. Just, like, a good fucking boss music. Anywho. So you'll note, I'm stacking fire defense on the side there. I think it's fire base in this fight. No reason not to. I actually really like the Ifrit fight in 14 because playing through that game up to that point, it was like, all right, this game's pretty okay. Like I can see the appeal of it, and then you get the Ifrit, and you're just like, oh shit. Okay, I get this now.
Ugh. Of course, just fucking knocks my healer out of her soul break. Uh, so note for this fight because he summons the nail. If you're doing, if you're doing stuff, and his health is kind of getting a bit lower, you should start targeting him specifically, especially if it's breakdowns and stuff like that. Um, you don't, you do not want to be doing like a break or a breakdown and not be hitting the target that you really need it on. God damn it, Galoof. Calm down. Yeah, you can you can really see that this is a, a 130 difficulty fight. And not a 140. That might actually be enough. Take that thing out. I suppose I can use Saint's Cross on it, and if it doesn't die, then I'll just hit it with that. Or I could just use another mirror. So with that knife, that you know, lucky draws just wanted to keep throwing at me. It's the long con. I've had that knife, that uh, that seven star knife for so long. Now, now it's his time to shine. Feel bad if we're just trying. I want to be a bonus boss. Oh, <laughs> come on, guys. I'm cool too. I always love the animation on that. Come on, my X mode is cool. There's like. 25 nails. There's like 50 in the entire fight. It's cool, right? <laughs> Don't use your mage break, you'll kill the party. <laughs> I was joking with a friend of mine. Um we were just making a lot of Record Keeper uh, Final Fantasy XIV jokes, and it's just like, what if they added Minfilia? And it was just like, well, what would her moveset be? I don't know. Bard Dancer. That's it. But you'd never use her. That's the point. <laughs> uh, like, I really want Minfilia to be in Record Keeper. Just so that they make a please return to the Rising Sands reference. I need that in my life. What was the other one? Oh, right. Um, we were talking about if they ever get to Heaven's Word, Heaven's Word uh, content, would they add Astidian? 
And the consensus was, yes, they kind of have to. He's a major part of the story. To which I said, I want Estinian to have a unique modifier that even if he's using Dragoon jumps, he can still be targeted. That's another thing that needs to happen. Not too bad, but again, it's a 130 fight. So it's not like a real ultimate. It's like an ultimate and a half. A uh, half a mitt. An ult a half. Where the fuck does he drop lightning orbs? I like that's the Inferno Bangle. That's a good touch. That's actually a damn good touch. Hello? 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 No sound? Fixed it. Alright, Lord of Crags. Uh, this is technically an ultimate level. Uh, which means it can't actually fuck me up. Uh, this is actually pretty much the same exact fight from, um, the, the double, the triple plus. It's actually the same exact fight from the triple plus, abilities and everything. This is not a different fight at all. So, um, I'm actually going to take the same team into this fight. Just, uh, shifting around some gear a little bit. So, uh, we have some cloaks on to increase our earth defense on the people with, I believe, the lowest health. Yeah, lowest health, worse resistance, and defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting the stats. Because, again, everything that... Titan does is earth damage. Well, most of it. I think all of it? It could be all of it. You know what? Let's take an Ishtola. Wow, this person got Ishtola and egged her to 80 immediately. It was like, I have Stone Skin 2. I've been waiting to use it for months. Give me that shit. It's been nine months. Holy crap. Wait, it's been... I've streamed Record Keeper for nine months. Never missing an event. Oh, hold up. I need a moment. I just had that fucking realization. Ooh. <laughs> Gonna pause for recording break. Not stopping the. Uh, whatever. You guys don't need to know. It's behind the scenes. Alright, Galoof. You did an exceptional job against Ifrit. Give me the good shit again. Now again, the uh, the most threatening part of Titan is going to be the uh, 
heart phase. Because we do have to get that down uh, as quickly as possible. Sorry, I'm just in fucking love this fucking song. Alright, can we get the full break off before Galoof goes? I think we're gonna get there. Oh shit, it's real close. Nice! Alright, fuck him up. Fuck him up, Galoof. Oh, can we just bask in a moment in that crit that happened? Trying to save the uh, the Saints Cross for uh, heart phase, and I am being a little cautious because he gets extremely fast post heart phase. Seem to be moving a bit fast. Oh, it's happening. It's here, heart phase. Heart phase is such an extreme DPS check in uh, in actual 14. Like th this, this makes or breaks runs. This is just like, whoops, you didn't get the heart. Mm, man, that uh, that what's it called? Earth and Fury is really gonna suck in a moment. Listen to the fucking dudes yelling under the weight in the background of the song. It's so good. I might be cutting it close. I can't actually tell. I lost track of turns that he's taken. The single tumult. The sneaky tumult. Uh oh. So, uh. That's actually a failure. Because one of the conditions is to break the heart. Okay, what went wrong there? Hmm. We'll have to watch it closely and maybe just do uh, two full charges in a row. That would probably be enough.
I love how Tumult's when he first uses it. It's one hit. Man. Must not be that very strong of a move. What the? <laughs> that at least is very true to uh, 14. You think Tumult aren't scary. Uh, you damn fool. At least the Tumults are actually hitting everybody, so it's actually building uh, gauge on red. Because that was one thing, we did run out of haste last time. I'm not singing along to the song. Shut up. Yeah, okay, so we should do a double full charge here. This is the DPS phase, and that is extremely true to FF14. I was like, hmm, it's weird that uh, the ultimate plus uh, Titan doesn't really have anything that invokes like uh, EX Titan. Yo, the fucking DPS check. <laughs> what a fucked up thing to actually invoke. Uh, hmm, wall has fallen off. Oof, made it. Though we don't have wall up for the super attack. That could be a problem. Yeah, just a tad. I can pick this back up. Ah, way to the land. Cause of many wipes. This might actually still be pretty close.
He is real fast. That's for damn sure. Ah. Uh, tumults. They don't only hit once. You know what, the music fucking loops better than Overworld. Otherworld. Alright, fuck him up, Galoof. Whew. 140. He doesn't fuck around. Ugh. My leg fell asleep. see what that uh the flame bangle is so i don't remember remember ever seeing anything on it oh, my inventory is getting full moderate fire and earth resistance huh that's not bad Anywho, uh, that's it for the Final Fantasy XIV event. You know, I was going to say it was easy, but that DPS check on Ifrit, er, Titan is actually really rough. Next week, we're back to Final Fantasy VII again. See you then.